Minasan Konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And today we are unboxing the RG00 riser. Mm. Yeah. Um, this just was released yesterday on the Emperor's birthday. Um, yes, it's tradition. I, I don't know that that's true. Um, and this is, of course, the next in the RG line. Uh, we just recently got the Wing Zero Endless Waltz. Prior to that, we had the Exia. The Exia, of course, is um, the predecessor to this um, in Double O Gundam. Box looks lovely. Is he going to have any additions or extra parts or anything like that to be watching out for? Um, not that I'm aware of as far as like extra parts go. I haven't seen any magazine um, mm. bonuses yet. Okay. Um, there is a, a P Bandai exclusive that I've just ordered that is the, um, the Trans Am version, which is a oh, pearlescent, yeah, yeah right. pearlescent pink version. L, the wallet. Yeah. Actually though, it's, it's pretty cheap. It's the same price as the, the normal version, mm. which is kind of rare for P Bandai releases. Yeah. Um, so it's um, basically the retail cost. So it's going to be a little bit more, but other than that, though, it's going to be great. So here we go. This is actually a pretty thick RG box. Um, there's a lot of lot of material in here. Um, it's comparable, maybe a little bit more more than the um, Endless Waltz um, that Wing Zero. So. This will keep you busy for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I expect this will probably be about a two-hour build, which is cool. Um, it'll be fun. It's a big build for him. We have our standardized RG frame pieces, um, which if you have not done an RG before, are really cool um, because they all come on the runners pre-built. You just have to sort of twist and tweak some parts in order to get them in the right positions. Um, but they're already on their hinges, so it allows for a lot more elaborate hinges. Here is our transparent green for our GN blades That's and our great. condensers here. Those are lovely. Yeah. Um, the white is a nice white, nothing special, but it is a nice looking plastic. Um, and our couple of yellow pieces, which I've always found weird on the double O Gundam because they're just like a couple of them. Um, and we have our clear pieces here for the O riser. Okay. Now our pink pieces, these are our GN swords, our little tiny ones, and then our gigantic GN sword, um, which coming from the MG version of this kit is a little weird because they, they don't seem that big, but they're going to seem big in comparison to that little RG. Um, our orange top for the um, O-Riser, our beam sabers, and then our reds. Oh, and a little tiny transparent red piece for the um, the face. The RGs are what scale? 1144. Oh, okay. They're just like an HG. Mm. I find that the RGs are a little weird because they are the same scale as HG, but if you put them side by side, they don't look good together. Mm -hmm. So you can't just, and they're all like the hero kits. You get right. the Xia, the, R, the um, RX-78 and stuff like that. Um, but that's about it. And so you can't really pose them with the villains unless you're counting the like Sharzaku or the Zagok, which I think are the only villain suits. Yeah, villain. Yeah. Here's some more frame pieces, this slightly different color of gray. Pretty solid here. I love the plastic that they use for the RGs. It feels really stable compared to some of the HG kits. We have our whites. Man, this is so many tiny pieces. <laughs> this is an elaborate little build. And we have our decal sheet, our sticker sheet. Uh, somebody was saying that I said decal when I should have said sticker, but they're actually sticker type decals. Um, so these are foil stickers uh, for our GN condensers. And I don't know how the the focus is going to be there, but these are really super cool, elaborate little decals. Um, they have the, the warnings, the, the OO um, designators, that sort of thing. And then our, our little tiny decals are just super good. These are always the case with the RGs. Very, very nice stuff. They end up adding some great detail. You can get them 
separately for say nail art if you wanted to do something crazy yeah yeah you can absolutely um and then here is our abs runners it looks like this is going to the the gn condensers on the sides are going to be a lot more stable than the mg um which is great i had i always had problems with those on the mg you said this came out on wednesday yeah yesterday when do you them usually come out um, oh, you okay, so usually they come out on Saturdays, technically, um, but some stores release them on Fridays. And why uh, do they come out on Saturdays? That's, <laughs> so that's a weird thing. So back in the, um, back in the, the heydays of JRPGs, um, Dragon Quest was a big deal, and games would come out during the week, um, and on the release date of Dragon Quest 3, uh, tons and tons of children, like, skipped school. Um, and we're talking like that game sold like 3 million its first week. Um, the Japanese games don't sell. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, so, um, it sold like 3 million its first week. It was a really big seller, uh, but a lot of kids skipped school. So the Japanese government was discussing, um, changing release dates by hard law and saying, okay, you have to release them on the weekend because we don't want delinquency. Um, and so a lot of the major manufacturers, your Enixes, they decided, hey, we're, we'll just shift our release dates um, to Saturday manually so you don't have to regulate it. Hmm. Um, and so Bandai does the same thing with Gunpla. They're usually slated for Saturday release, um, but RG kits are oftentimes for Wednesday release because they are geared towards adults, not towards children. Hmm. So it's not expected a high school student is going to pick up an RG. Yeah, it's not considered a child release. Hmm. Okay. Is that reflected in the price? Yes, um, they do cost about twice as much as an HG kit. Mm. Um, and HG kits are not cheap. Like as far as toys go, you know, they can be fifteen, twenty dollars uh, for a single toy, um, and these are probably thirty-ish. Um, so that's that's a big deal. This one, these retail for what thirty-two hundred yen, three thousand two hundred yen. So about thirty dollars. And then there's the whole like high school students in Japan are not allowed by law to have jobs. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of restrictions on that sort of thing. So if you have walking around money, you probably don't have RG walking around money. You might have HG walking around money. Yeah. But it's not like you have a job that you can fund it yourself. Mom's yeah, not, I mean, and, you know, kids do buy the uh, the RGs, but they're really just not marketed that way. These are these are hardcore adult collector mm. kits. Okay, and so, oh, our blue runner here. Beautiful. It is beautiful. I love that plastic. True blue. It's going to be great. And it's, it's, I love the, the double O because it's really like vibrant and colorful. Mm -hmm. It's very like awake. Uh, it, it's, it's positive. It's, yeah. um, I, it looks optimistic. It looks like <laughs> the future. I, that's one of the things I really liked about double O is it's got a very, I don't know, a very forward look. So yeah, this is tons of tiny pieces. This is going to be a great little build. Um, Here's an advertisement for the Revive line, the next versions of the HGs, um, the RX-78 and the Gun Cannon. Um, and it actually looks like they are going to be doing a number of them. They'll have a, a Char Zaku, they'll have a GM, a Zagok. Which obviously will pick up. Yeah, yeah, we'll get them all uh, as they come <laughs> out. I mean, this is an excuse to get all the all of the UC stuff that I haven't mm -hmm. had in years. So now, that's good. The, the origin version of the... The Char Zaku? No. Oh, the uh, RX-78? No, the gun cannon. Gun cannon is coming out very soon. Very soon. Yeah, sometime sometime in May. I'm so excited. Those look good. Yeah, they do. They and and that's kind of cool because we're gonna be getting we're gonna get getting multiple UC lines this year. We're gonna be getting yeah. the revive line, and then we're also gonna be getting the the origin mm -hmm. line. And they're just completely starkly different. The, right. the revive line is very cartoony. Um, they they look anime, uh, whereas the um, the origin line are very serious, very yeah. stark. And our RG manual, these are always great. They're, they're a lot of color, a lot of really clear delineation. Like it tells you where individual parts start and stuff like that. Um, and it shows you these interesting CG graphic versions of things. <laughs> oh, and the CGs are in color here when, mm. as they're completed. That's if you're a big fan of how sausage is made, I think you figure these are like magazines for you, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These, these are really nice. 
Um, and then it shows you the way that the GN condensers can be slid around um, to re reconfigure on the kit. Mm. Will he take lighting? Um, no. 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 That's one of the only drawbacks of the RG line is it's just too small for that. Because oh. um, the MG O-Riser is beautiful. I love the, the way that the, um, the LEDs work on it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That GN sword's going to turn out really big. Uh, really, really nice uh, in comparison. And then our enormous ass sticker sheet. <laughs> I love I love the, the the sort of optimism here. They they show you the full color guide for the um, the two figures of Setsuna uh, here, mm. and so they show you a fully painted one, uh, which you could maybe do with a microscope um, if you are one of those guys who can write kanji on a rice grain. <laughs> um, those are insanely you can small. Two birds on a grain of rice. You can probably paint. Them. Yes, yes. I mean, it's <laughs> it's a fully painted Setsuna. Mm. Uh, yeah, well, I think they have one of those um, devices from Willy Wonka uh, that shrinks down full size mm. stuff. Yes. So there we go. Um, there's the Double O Riser. I'm going to throw this together. It'll probably take me a couple of hours, and then I'll give you guys a review of it. I am very optimistic about the turnout. Um, the RG line has been very good um, for at least the last few. Have been really amazing. Mm. Um, so there you go. I hope you get to come back and see the review and matinee. Matinee.